uh, we will be solving the problem find the child who has the ball after k seconds from the weekly contest 401 first we will try to understand this problem so if you understand this problem and if you just started programming then you can come up with a brute force approach but coming to the optimal solution it will take some time so don't worry if you did not come with optimal solution if you have solved with brute force approach then it's fine in this video we will be talking about first brute force then we will talking about how we can optimal this type of solutions now let's understand the problem you are given two positive integers n and k right there are n children numbered from 0 to n minus 1 standing in a cube hmm? from left to right so there are n minus 1 that means if n is equals to consider 4 we have 0 1 2 and 3 standing in a cube initially child 0 holds a ball child 0 has the ball and the direction of passing the ball is towards the right direction so he will pass towards the right direction after each second the child holding the ball passes it to the child next to them at the first second he will pass here in the second second he will pass here in the third second he will pass to the third child once the ball reaches either end of the line child 0 or child n minus 1 the direction of the ball the direction of passing is reversed now i have reached 3 or now i need to reverse it then i will come to 2 1 and 0 if you are coming to 1 then i will reverse it it will be 1 2 and 3 in the same way reversing happens we need to return the number of child who is the number of the child not number of the child's we need to return the number at what number what number of the child my after k second the ball has stopped now let's understand this with simple example now we have n is equals to 3 uh, and k is equals to 5 at 0 second it will be 0 at 1 second it will go to 1 and 2 then my direction is reversed it will come to the left side then it will be 1 and 0 then my reverse it will be 1 so at 5 second my answer will be 1 at child 1 now same you can see with 5 n is equals to 5 and k is equals to 6 so you can see 0 1 2 3 4 and it reversed it k is equals to 6 we are reaching at 2 now let's think about the brute force approach what will be the brute force approach we will iterate we will iterate we will go towards the right and we will go towards the left we will go to in the single iteration i will go towards right and i will go towards the left while calculating my values it's simple so from i is equals to 0 my k will be greater than 0 every time and while k is greater than 0 and i less than n minus 1 that means we have 0 1 2 and 3 and 4 we will go i plus plus and k minus minus now you are at 0 first you will go to 1 then you will go to 2 then you will go to 3 but when you are at 4 right when you are at i less than or equals to n minus 1 i less than or equals to n minus 1 means you are at this position but when i is equals to 4 you need to stop you need to stop you should not reach i is equals to 5 you should not reach i is equals to 5 so i will stop here and if k is equals to 0 i will return i directly if k is equals to 0 i will return i directly now while my k greater than 0 and i greater than 0 now i will coming towards the this left uh, left direction it will come to 3 2 and 1 at 1 it will stop 1 it will stop and when it is decreased i minus minus it will reach to 0 and i will stop there i will say that's why i am taking i greater than 0 and i less than n minus 1 now if my k is equals to 0 i will directly return i and if it is not the answer we return 0 it's never this statement is never executed but in c plus plus it's expected in these conditions we can't write return so i think you understood the brute force approach what will be the time complexity it will be order of max of n comma k it will be my time complexity can you optimize it can you optimize it i will think i will think now now you you are at this position we are traveling we are we have 0 1 2 and 3 and 4 to reach 4 how many seconds it will take to reach 4 how many seconds it will take 1 2 3 and 4 4 seconds to reach 0 how many seconds it will take 1 2 3 and 4 4 plus 4 which is 8 that means we have n is equals to 5 n is equals to 5 so can we subtract n minus 1 and i can say n minus 1 into 2 2 times 
m i 7 into 2 times it will start from the starting position it will start from the starting position for completing one round it will take n minus 1 n minus 1 for completing the second round it will take n minus 1 third round n minus 1 fourth round n minus 1 so in this way i have k right i have k k is equals to 6 k is equals to 6 n is equals to 5 but i will try with 4 because in 4 seconds only i am reaching here because the 1 2 3 and 4 4 seconds now I will do 6 by 4 which will be 1. So, if it is 1, if it is odd, I will be at this index. If it is even, consider my k is equals to 10, 10 by 4 which is 2, I will be at starting index, starting index. Now, k is equals to 6, I am at end, n in, in, in index and 6 percentile 4 which will be 2. So, 2 positions towards the left, 2 positions towards the left. So, I will be reaching at 2. I will be reaching at 2. Now, consider k is equals to 10, 10 by 4 which is 2, which is 2, I will be at starting position and my remaining is, remaining is 10 percentile 4 which is 2. So, it will come here. So, it will come here. So, I think you have understood it what exactly we are doing. So, we will be doing, first we will decrement n to simplify the calculations. So, we, we will be decrementing n, then rounds k by n and if my rounds are even even so i will be at starting position if my rounds are odd then i will be at ending position if it is even directly i will need reminder reminder equals to k percentile n so directly reminder if this is the reminder or else this can be my reminder n minus reminder so i think you have got it what we are doing here my time complexity will be order of 1 so if you learn something new from this video and if you gain some knowledge from this video, please do like and if you are new to the channel, please consider to subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.